I thought I'd do my first review. Um, I'm going to do one on this uh, bow mount. I've already installed it, um, which I'm going to show you how it, how it uh, performs here in just a few minutes. But this packaging that you get, I actually bought this from Amazon. Um, packaging's nice. You know, it's not anything crazy there. Basic stuff. You get a, uh, a new screws for your uh, for your quiver, and then there's a little instruction manual, which I never even looked at the instruction manual. It's pretty pretty cut and dry on the uh, the installation. Here's what it looks like on my bow. Um, I've flipped it around like this when I'm going to carry it, um, and then uh, when it's on on the bow itself, it's how it folds up. Um, there's a little knob right here that you loosen up. There's actually a uh, gear like a gear here that uh, that holds it in place you basically loosen it up like this get it outside the gear which you can see the uh, little notches there you rot rotate it around to where you need it then tighten it back up into place that's pretty much it in place there's a, a, a swivel here that allows this to allows this to float around so you can tilt it a couple different directions you can't flip it like clear around and it can only be mounted on this side of the bow but uh, seems like it works pretty well it does it is kind of awkward the way that it sets out away from the bow because when you're holding it your bow is wanting to lean you know to one side but it's not uh, it's not completely you know it doesn't like really screw up your shots but it does uh, it does, you can fill it on there. Wanted to show you how the foam actually slides in there. Um, there's an adjustment knob here on the bottom and you can go out a pretty good ways. This is the uh, Samsung Alpha um, phone, which is about the size of a uh, iPhone 6. Um, you just loosen it up and you can slide it in there. It stops here and then you tighten it up in the back. And you could, I could see where I've seen some complaints where people saying that they were ripping the orange uh, padding but they're probably just over tightening and they also complain that they've stripped the screws out which I can feel as I'm tightening this down that if I continue to tighten it down I'm going to break something so I'm not tightening it down to it stops I'm just tightening it down to where it's um, where it's snug in there and it's not going to come out um, the camera is going to stay into place you have to tighten your your backing here you know your little uh, adjustment knob here in the back and you know your once you get it in there it holds it pretty pretty snug um, this phone is kind of neat because uh, there's a, uh, a feature on it that allows you to do a dual camera, which is pretty cool because I've got a camera right here, and then I've also got a camera that's shooting out ahead so I'm able to see, see where the shot is going. But it kind of stinks that the cameras are oriented out here and there's no way to move them back in. So when I put my camera up here, I'm kind of away from the target. Um, the target that I'm aiming at is hitting about right here on the camera. But I like it set like this versus like this. Bad group.